Welcome to Marine Gurukul video series. This video is on obtaining and plotting of position lines by transit and opposite bearings. PL by transit bearing. Two lights or two conspicuous objects are said to be in transit when both are in straight line as viewed from the ship or from the observer. That is, the bearing of both the objects is the same to the observer. When in transit, the ship has to be on a straight line passing through those two conspicuous points or the objects. As there is one and only one straight line that can be drawn through two points on a plane surface, the line joining the, the two objects extended in the direction of the ship provides a PL to the observer. Transit bearings also provide a convenient opportunity to obtain the compass error. Let us understand the transit bearing and its use for getting the compass error through a simple example. At 2000 hours, vessel observes Balina Koti light and mine head light to be in transit. When in transit, bearing was observed to be 0.15 degrees gyro and 0.18 degrees compass. Draw 2000 hours PL. Obtain the error of the gyro compass. Obtain error of the standard compass or the compass error. If variation is 3 degrees west, find the deviation for the ship's head. First, let us identify the Bellina Coti light and the mine head light on the chart. On the chart, this one is mine head light and this one is Bellina Coti light. Now we draw the PL by transit bearing. That means we join these two landmarks and extend them on the side on which the ship is likely to be and that becomes the PL. Now you can see on this, these two have been joined and extended on this side where the ship is likely to be and this becomes 2000 hour PL by transit bearing. Now we use our parallel ruler, put it on this line and read off the bearing of mine head and uh, Bellina Koti, which of course would be same from the compass row. In this case, we find that the two bearing of mine head or Bellina Koti, which is same, is 0, 1, 3 degrees true as read from the chart. The gyro bearing is given to be 0, 1, 5 degrees gyro. Obviously, the gyro error would be 2 degrees as the difference is 2 degrees. To determine whether it's high or low, we can see the gyro reading is high. So therefore, the error will be 2 degrees high. Now, two bearing, 0, 1, 3 degrees true. Compass bearing given in the question is 0, 1, 8 degrees compass. The compass error shall be the difference of the two. That is 5 degrees and it shall be west. Why? Because compass best, error west. So compass error is 5 degrees west. Variation is 3 degrees east given in the question. Therefore, deviation for the ship's head becomes 8 degrees west because it is the algebraic sum of variation and deviation, which is the compass error. Next is PL by opposite or reciprocal bearings. Two lights or conspicuous objects are said to be on opposite bearing or reciprocal bearing when their bearings differ exactly by 180 degrees. When on opposite bearings, the ship must be on the straight line segment joining the two points or the objects. There is one and only one straight line segment that can be drawn through two points on a plane surface. The segment joining the two objects or the points provides the position line. Unlike other PLs, this PL has a definite length 
the segment is only between or the PL length is only between the two conspicuous points. This PL cannot be indefinitely extended like the other ones. Opposite bearings also provide a convenient opportunity to obtain the compass error. Let us understand this PL and its use for getting the compass error through a small example. At 20 hundred hours, vessel observes hook head light and conning bag light vessel to be on opposite bearings. At the same instant, hook head light bore 293 degrees gyro and 296 degrees compass. Draw 20 hundred hours PL. Obtain the error of the gyro compass. Obtain the error of the standard compass. If the variation is 3 degrees west, find the deviation for the ship's head at that time. Like earlier cases, let's first identify the two landmarks, hook head light and the conning bait light vessel. So on the chart, you can see this one is hook head light and this one is conning bait light vessel. We can now draw the 20 hundred RPL by joining these two points. You can see this blue segment here joining these two points is the 20 hundred RPL. If the vessel is anywhere on this PL, the bearing of hook head and conning bag would be separated by exactly 180 degrees. Now, read off the true bearing of hook head light. You transfer this line to the compass rows and read off the true bearing in the direction of hook head from the chart. True bearing of the hook head light from the chart is 296 degrees true. Gyro bearing of hook head given in the question is 293 degrees gyro. These two values give us the gyro error as 3 degrees low. True bearing of hook head light is 296 degrees true. Compass bearing of the hook head light given to us in the question is also 296 degrees compass. Therefore, the compass error becomes nil or 0 degrees. If variation is 3 degrees west, then the deviation must be 3 degrees east, making the compass error 0 degrees. Now, we thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any feedback, please feel free to reach us on marinegurupul at gmail.com. If you need any other support from us on this front, please do reach out to us. Thank you once again for watching this video. Thank you.